Once again, it's Red Links TV. I'm the one and only Cannibal Shogun, and this is your home for all things Trials HD. Today, we've got a smoking exclusive look at the Big Thrills DLC. Then we'll feature an epic series of tracks by Crosby. After blowing your mind, I'll try to piece it back together with a tutorial on the game camera. From there, we'll coast into the winner's cycle and reveal the king of the boss battle. Got your bike? Got your helmet? Let's ride! Trials heads, have I got a treat for you! That's right, we've got some exclusive footage and tracks from the upcoming Big Thrills DLC. The Big Thrills pack promises to be just that. With a ton of new tracks, 8 new tournaments and 3 new achievements, this download delivers. And in addition to the thrills our friends in Finland have crammed in, it'll also feature 10 user-created tracks chosen from the entries of the Big Thrills Contest. Head on over to BigThrillsContest.com for details, and be sure to check back in on November 15th when the winning tracks will be announced. A release date for the thrills hasn't been set, but you can expect it to hit the marketplace a little later this year. Stay tuned for more. Justin Sells is better known to the Trials HD community as Crosby. He's been wowing us with inventive custom tracks for a while, but what really put him on the map was his series Space Odyssey, which is exactly what its name implies, one epic continuous trek through the stars. Check it out! One of Justin's main goals when map making is to produce a double tape and have his riders exclaim, you can do this in a motorcycle game? This is a fantastic voyage through the stars, taking you from a shuttle docking with a space station to the surface of an alien world. And the best part? This is an ongoing series, so you'll have even more chances to go where no rider has gone before. Give it up for Justin Sells, aka Crosby, for making something truly awe-inspiring. Check him out for yourself, and as you take to the skies, repeat after me. I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch me soar. Fellow mappers, gather around, it's time to build your skills. This episode, I'll answer a frequent request and talk about the game camera. The game camera can be found in the original tools palette and is used to alter the view the player sees as they ride your track. In the editor, the camera has a few visible features. First is the camera itself. Where you place this is where your camera will be located. Next are the lines coming out of the camera and the rectangle that they connect to. The rectangle roughly represents your frame, or what the camera will see when it's active. The connecting lines determine the active area, or when your camera takes over. As your rider enters the area inside those lines, the in-game camera will move to the position you have designated, and as you leave that area, the camera reverts to its default setting. You have a few options you can adjust with the camera. The first option is range. This is very important if you want to place the camera far away from the driving line. As you can see, when I increase the range, the rectangle that represents my frame gets farther away. If your active area does not cross the driving line, your rider cannot activate the camera. Next is the field of view. On a real camera, this would be the equivalent of changing lenses. The smaller the numbers, the tighter your frame will be and the larger things will appear, similar to a telephoto lens. The higher the number, the wider your frame will be, allowing you to see a lot more, similar to a wide angle lens. Finally, the last option allows you to check your camera view. Click on this and you will see the point of view of your camera. Keep in mind when doing this that if you go by really fast, the camera may not have time to fully reach the position you put it. In cases like these, it's usually best to copy and repeat your camera a few times. So even though the camera will move between them, it'll stay closer to the position you want for longer. That's the basics of the game camera. Honestly, there's so much to this tool I could go on for a while with tips and tricks, but alas, the show must go on, so I'll leave the creative stuff up to you. <coughs> Trials Riders, start your engines and join me in the winner's cycle. We're not going to have a winner's cycle next episode, so we don't have a new competition to announce. What we do have is the results of our epic boss battle. Our eyes were treated.
treated to some very creative boss fights, but Juke 13 rose to the top with his giant robot beatdown and will receive a Trials HD hoodie and flag for his troubles. However, we were so impressed with the entries that we decided all these mappers will take home a Trials HD flag as a consolation prize. Congratulations to Juke 13 and all the boss battle entries. You're all boss in our book. That just about does it for this installment of Red Links TV. Thanks to Crowsbeak for stopping by and our Red Links homies for their help and support. Check us out on the Xbox Live Marketplace, where Red Links TV is now available for download straight to your hard drive. Don't forget to stop by the Red Links forums and keep submitting your custom tracks to TrialsHD.net. Next time out, we'll feature another one of you, tutor the lot of you, and hopefully have some more exclusive info on the big thrills that are coming our way. Until then, keep cranking that throttle. Red Links TV out.